Take a look at this. This is a headline from the Drudge Report called Syria Shock. And when you click on that link, it brings you to the Mail Online. And we see horrific headlines and pictures and videos about what has happened. Look at that, mass graves. That has happened in Syria. And this is all over the place. It is all over the news. But then the question is, did it really happen? Did people really die? Are there mass graves? To answer that, take a look at this video, allegedly shot in Syria or Egypt, not quite sure, but watch this. Now, as you can see, there are what seem like a group of protesters who have been cued to run and then take positions and to freeze and pause. And they're doing this because they're actors. Take a look at this photographer right here. See that? He's taking pictures that shows up here in the news. It makes it look like people are dying from horrible genocidal attacks from the government. But nothing could be further from the truth. Look at this. They're actors. The people in the vests are the ones who coordinate the action. Look at this. Flags waving. Peace signs. But everyone's frozen. They're actors. Now, if you followed my videos or my audios on my blog, you know that I've shown that throughout our history, this is what's been really going on. Not 9-11s, not Oklahoma cities, not Waco scenarios. Even the O.J. Simpson case was very much likely an acting job. So what I always do is I would point people to this movie called Pallywood. Let me move it back to the beginning here. And this shows how 60 Minutes... And they do this all of the time, literally scripted and staged the current Israeli and Palestinian attacks. And as you can see, it looks very scary. Here's the 60 minute logo right there. We've got people throwing stuff. We've got firebombs. We have people shooting, people holding up protest flags, shooting through buildings, and on and on it goes. And it looks very real. A guy gets shot in the leg, he's down. But let's take a really close look at that one. I've saved that right here. Here's the same video. What you want to do is you want to pay attention to this guy right here in the blue shirt. And then you want to pay attention to what happens here. You're going to see an ambulance come here. And watch how fast the ambulance comes as soon as he gets shot. So he gets shot right there. No blood, of course. There's never blood in the acting. And within two seconds, the ambulance shows up and hurls him back into the back of the ambulance, which, of course, you would never do if it was a real injury. So watch this again in slow motion. Gets shot, holds his leg, no blood coming out of the leg. Less than two seconds later, an ambulance shows up. That is called acting. Now, you don't have to use real actors to pull off these psychological operations. Take a look at this. Her name is Emily. But is Emily a real person? Well, in about 30 seconds, you're going to find out she's not. She's completely CGI. So let me zoom it up a little bit here. See that? This is completely created. And it's not even advanced on, an, on a computer system, much like Photoshop, but for video. And if that doesn't really make you go, wow... This is probably the most realistic CGI I've ever seen in my life. Take a look at this. Look at the blinking of the eyebrows and of the eyes and the shadows of the double chin. You can, this kind of gives it away over here. The backgrounds uh, kind of really does show that it's CGI. But you show this to 100 people and 100 people are going to think this is a real person. Look at the eyes. Just amazing. Now, you don't have to have just people who are faked. You can have objects that are faked. In fact, I have a quote from the person who created the CGI. He says, yep, it's all CG. 
I tried to put some live footage shots, but I ran out of time. So CGI did the trick. Look at those lemons. All CGI. And I saved the best for last. This is from, a, uh, I don't know if it's a movie studio. It's called Stargate Studios. And it shows quite clearly how movies are made on a computer. You don't even have to have the actors show up. Basically, everything is done on a computer and green screen. So you can literally go to a back lot. You don't have to go to Hollywood or Toronto or overseas. You can do it right in a soundstage. And a lot of the most well-known movies that you have seen have been done using this method. So if they can fake it this way, can you imagine the things that they're faking on us? I mean, it's to the point right now where even people look like us who look into fakery can't tell it's faked anymore because it's so good. It's so hard to find. So, you're probably freaking out right now. You're like, wait a minute. Are you saying that everything that we see on TV is fake? Oh, I'm saying pretty much a lot of the stuff that you see on TV is fake. Especially if it's on national TV. Especially if you see one story that's in every newspaper and on TV and talked about in the radio. And they're hammering that point home over and over and over again. That's called psychic driving, repetition. So if you see that, I would be skeptical. And then you're going to be asking yourself, well, why would they do it? What, what are they trying to do here? And it's very simple. Let's go back to the original start of this video. Syria shock. There have been many documents that have been published that talk about how we would go to war with Iraq and then Iran and Syria. And sure enough, we have all the stuff setting the stage for that sort of thing to happen. Now, will it happen? I have no idea. Quite frankly, it doesn't matter to me. It doesn't affect my life because I know that what they're doing, these setups are fake. Life is not scary. Life is not chaotic. There are no terrorists running around with towels in their head. The real terrorists are wearing suits and hide behind the cameras. I'm going to post a link to my website, to my blog, right here in the center. You can click on that and I go into much, much more detail about how the world really works and why they're using fakery to fool us.